Changing state law. That's what one local legislator wants to do after seeing what WRG investigators uncovered. A woman brutally attacked but unable to get justice because her evidence wasn't tested in time. WREG investigator Jessica Gertler explains the lawmakers next step. We spoke to politicians frustrated about the lack of justice for this victim. WREG doesn't typically identify victims of rape, but this woman wanted you to see her face. For her protection, we're only identifying her by her first name, Lila. Came in through a bathroom window, a pried open. Lila was living in Memphis in 1993 when she woke up to a knife at her throat. She was blindfolded. She never saw the man who raped her. Lila first told her traumatic story to WREG last month. You're dying. I mean, you, I was thinking of any way I could get out of that situation. And the only way to do it was to comply. Lila was left on the cold floor. She called Memphis police and agreed to a sexual assault examination. However, it wasn't until 2015, more than two decades later, when she learned what WREG first uncovered. Her rape kit was one of thousands stuffed into storage closets never tested. It's so damn infuriating. It makes my head feel like it could explode. In 2018, 25 years after the attack, she found out her evidence was finally processed and police told her they found DNA matching Marvin Hudges. He was already serving a 32 year sentence for four aggravated rapes and sexual battery. One of the victims, 11 years old. Through a source in the criminal justice system and documents obtained through the Public Records Act, we found out MPD also matched Hudges to DNA in three more rape kits belonging to two women and a teenager. Like Lila's rape kit, they were also caught in the backlog, never tested from the 1990s. What do you think about that? It's tragic. Um, happened so many times before. Tennessee Representative John Gillespie. If we have that evidence, we should be able to use it in all situations, regardless of when the time it's tested. That's what Lila thought too. But under Tennessee law, there's a limited window of time to charge a suspected rapist. For Lila and the others mentioned, it was 15 years. No one will stand trial in criminal court for their attacks. In January, I plan on filing legislation that would remove the statute of limitations for cases of rape and aggravated rape involving uh, DNA evidence that uh, has been collected. Meaning, if there's conclusive DNA, charges can be filed no matter what. In July 2014, Tennessee enacted a law that eliminates the statute of limitations if the rape is reported within three years. Gillespie told us he's aware of that law, but this would be another safeguard. He says, unfortunately, it won't apply to Lila's case due to a Supreme Court ruling that new laws can't be applied retroactively. If this is passed, then I would assume July 1st of next year, 2023, um, all offenses committed after that, this would apply to. And if we can find a genetic match that ties someone to a case, it, like, that's not extenuating circumstances. Like we have, we have hard evidence now that links you to a murder or to a sexual assault. Like we, statute of limitations shouldn't get in the way of that. Memphis Councilman Chase Carlisle is also lobbying for change. And the hope and pray is, is not gonna work. He says he'll also request more updates from MPD on how they handle cases to see if they have enough resources and investigators and to make sure victims are getting enough support. This was in, in the, the public's eye when we had the backlog of cases uh, in 2015, I think. And, and we allow that to, to kind of leave the council's agenda. Carlisle says what's been happening is unacceptable. Also frustrated with another case that made our headlines. Cleotha Abstin Henderson reportedly raped Alicia Franklin in September 2021. She wants you to know her name too and know that her rape kit sat on a shelf for nine months. Police say Abstin Henderson went on to kidnap and kill Eliza Fletcher. The day forensic scientists matched his DNA to the rape kit, was the day they found Fletcher's body. It really um, bothers me when people on the other side of the issue with police say, police don't prevent crimes. Well, that's not true, right? If we had tested DNA earlier and made an arrest with Cleo Abson, uh, more crimes, a uh, crime against Eliza Fletcher wouldn't have occurred. And we'll let you know when Carlisle calls for an update and when Gillespie files that legislation. As for Lila, she says she's continuing to fight for justice. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3. Lila's attacker completed his sentence last month. He's currently free.